Okay, it's the top of the hour, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, today, I'm going to be doing a content marketing takeover of the sales and marketing functional group update. Um, to start, I just want to briefly introduce the content marketing team. I am Eric Lindbergh, the content marketing manager. We have Rebecca, who manages our blog and editorial processes, and Erica, who just joined us. Um, she'll be handling mostly web and webcast content. Um, and Emily Van Hoffman, who manages our social channels and programs. Um, people tend to think about content marketing in a lot of different ways, so I just want to set a baseline for how we think about content marketing at GitLab. Um, content marketing is really about understanding your audience or audiences and building trust with them so that when you want to reach them, you know where to go and have earned the right to be there. Um, because people consume content through a lot of different mediums, um, channels, outlets, uh, content marketing is also multi-touch. We take a big idea or concept and we find relevant ways to share it. This typically starts with tailoring the idea or message to who you're trying to talk to, repackaging the message into different formats, like blog posts, articles, videos, and web pages, and then distributing that content on relevant channels and outlets. Uh, accomplishments. We've had a lot of great successes recently um, and have a lot of great things planned, but to be considered of time, I'm just going to go over a few of the highlights, and then I'm going to focus on a couple of big projects we're working on that I'm really excited about. Um, the big takeaway on the slide here is really that we've started to hone in on and focus on our audience. Um, in the past, we were a lot more ad hoc, creating and testing content without thinking too holistically about its impact. Um, over the last quarter, we started a documented content strategy, which outlines why we create content and who we create content for and where we publish that content. Um, content marketing is also part message and part medium. So we need to be able to understand the whole picture, how content, social, webcasts, and other channels go hand in hand so we can um, execute on those details. So in understanding our audience, we know we talk to a lot of developers who can be quite marketing adverse. Um, and instead of trying to force a square peg into a round hole, we came up with a way to communicate with them on their terms. We decided to change our email policy to an explicit opt-in instead of what one might consider um, legal spamming. Um, we lost a lot of subscribers in the beginning doing this, um, but we did grow from 5,000 to about 8,000 in Q4. Um, our goal is to grow that number to the tens and eventually hundreds of thousands. Um, but we want to grow our market and our audience base in a healthy way that's really focused on the user and the customer. Um, we also turn to Twitter and social channels to connect with our audience. Uh, social is a really great channel to not only share content, but to learn and engage with our audience so we can make better content. Um, a couple of great examples of this are the survey challenge we put out a couple of months ago in the Twitter poll we conducted to learn how our audience um, feels about intellectual property. Um, with the survey challenge, we had a problem. Our survey was not representative of um, female perspectives. So we asked our Twitter fans to help, and they did. Um, and not only had started a great conversation on Twitter, but it also improved the quality of our survey um, and helped us reach new people who otherwise um, might have not been known or been interested in the survey. Similarly, um, when we were announcing the change to our intellectual property agreement, we wanted to share this with the press and make a big splash with the news. Um, but we didn't have any concrete data to share, so we tried our first Twitter poll to see how our community felt about IP ownership. Um, and we not only got great engagement there, but we were able to use those numbers to strengthen our content. Um, and then finally, uh, last highlight, our webinar program has proven to be a great way to engage with prospective customers. We've seen that people who engage with our webinar program come back and start a conversation with sales. Um, the partner webcast we did with TaskTop is probably one of the best examples, not only because it influenced a large opportunity, but because when we host webcasts with, um, with a partner, we have the ability to tap into their audiences and reach people who maybe have never even heard of GitLab before. Um, some concerns. My concerns are pretty standard for a content marketing team, I think. Um, we're also, we're always thinking about how we can reach our audiences better, understand them better, and be as relevant as possible. Um, the challenge here is when you have multiple audiences to serve, um, how do you do that in the spaces where those people overlap? Um, when it comes to prioritization, we want to create less content that has a bigger impact. Um, saying no to things that are a great idea but not necessarily aligned with our goals is always hard. 
Um, and we always have to balance the work that we're trying to do for the content marketing team with supporting um, other like copywriting and editing needs um, throughout the company. Um, last one I'll touch upon is execution. Um, the voices of everyone at GitLab are really important and your voices are the ones that our audience trusts. So um, we need your help creating content. Um, I'll kind of speak more to this later in some of the um, programs that, that we're gonna be running this quarter. Um, but this is kind of, this is a big one for us. Um, I won't talk too much to this slide, but you can click through and see um, some of the open issues we're working on and just kind of see what's in the pipeline. Um, and one of the big projects we're working on um, is the 2018 Global Developer Report. Um, this is a multifaceted project that has involved a lot of people. We completely overhauled the survey questions and asked a lot of you to review and leave feedback on those questions and the overall survey experience. Um, I firmly believe that that had a lot to do with the success of this survey. We actually had people um, who took the survey tell us that, you know, it was a really good survey. They liked the questions and um, you don't get that all the time when you uh, put out a survey. Um, we also developed a new distribution plan that included a blog post, social strategy, and then worked with the Changelog podcast to bring it to a broader audience. Um, we know that our audience hangs out in a lot of different places, so we took our message and distributed it through as many relevant channels to amplify the survey um, and reach as many people as possible. Our original goal was to get 1,000 responses, and we beat that goal by a long shot, which was really great. Um, and what's ahead, we will be publishing the findings as an interactive web page um, that should be coming out at the end of February. And we also want to open source the raw data. Um, we don't have a plan for this and we um, might need some help figuring out the best way to do this. Um, another big project we're excited about is the case studies program. Um, again, we want to put our audience, which includes our customers first. So it's important to market our customers' successes. When it comes to improving the perception of GitLab, um, the most powerful way to do this is to tell the stories of customers who have succeeded using us. Um, one, of, one of the ways to do this is through written case studies. Um, we're hoping to build out this content over the coming quarter and start to get good coverage of um, our use cases, um, switching from GitHub to GitLab or Jenkins to GitLab CI, for example, um, and get some coverage of industry verticals. Um, and you can click through and kind of see what's coming up on this slide. Um, and as many of you know, marketing has been working on new messaging for GitLab um, to start changing the perception of GitLab as source code management to DevOps or concurrent DevOps. Um, once that messaging is finalized, we need to share that message with our audience, um, customers, and the broader market. One of the ways we do this is through an integrated content campaign. Um, the goal of this campaign is to deliver this unified message um, across multiple touch points with content by tying together what otherwise might be disparate marketing tactics, the uh, web page, a webinar, um, an ebook. We want to bring all of that together. Um, we start with our messaging and then we build out a story that we can use to help educate people on the unique, unique benefit of GitLab. Um, we do this by taking our message and tailoring it to our audience depending on who they are first and then how much they know about us. So are they, do they already know about GitLab and what we do and they're looking for a solution or are they just um, trying to implement dev DevOps and having some trouble um, in researching how to fix it? Um, so when trying to reach new audiences, we want to bring a message that is about the new way of doing do DevOps or a better way. So when it comes time to talk to sales, they already know um, what they need to be doing, and the conversation can be more about um, getting help getting there and then understanding how GitLab can help in that process. Um, we have a lot of content lined up for this campaign already, and we'll be looking for even more opportunities to share our DevOps message. And finally, um, we need your help creating all this amazing content. Um, we're going to host a content marketing hack day on February 2nd. There's a link to the project in the project readme um, on the slide. We're still ironing out some of the details, so I will get on the team call um, and announce this again once we have you know, everything 100% figured out. Um, for those of you who have run or participated in a hack day before, we'd really love to hear your suggestions on how to make this a great experience. And then we really hope to get a lot of participation. Um, 
we have started creating issues um, in the project for content that we know that we'll need to support our upcoming projects and campaigns. Um, but please start to add your own. You are subject matter experts and we wanna share your stories and voices. Um, this also, we did the uh, blog feedback um, exercise to hear what you all thought about our blog content. And overwhelmingly, you guys wanted to hear more about how GitLabbers use GitLab and um, the perspectives of GitLabbers. So this is a good opportunity um, to do that. And that is it. So I will stop sharing my screen and find the Q&A. Okay. Let's see here. AJ content campaigns to enterprise fire is huge. I agree with that. Um, I think that our DevOps campaign is going to help hugely with that, AJ. Larry, can you report the portfolio of members for your team? Yes, um, I can repeat that. And it's also listed in the content marketing handbook, um, except for Erica, I need to add her, which I can do today. But Rebecca, um, focuses on our blog and our editorial processes. Um, Erica is going to be working mostly on web content and the webcast program. Um, and Emily is your go-to person for all things social, um, including the live stream events that we have been doing. Um, and I will add Erica to the content marketing handbook and I can share a link to that. Well, it looks like Rebecca answered that as well. Portland, AJ, the step ups can. Philippa, can we participate in the hack day? Yes, everyone is invited to participate in the hack day. Um, one of the things that we have talked about that might make it easier is coming up with some topics based on teams and reaching out to team leads um, to get everybody on board. And we're just still kind of finalizing the details. So we'll like I said, I'll get on the team call um, and go through the details more. But yes, everyone in GitLab is encouraged to go in there, look around, share your ideas. And then on the second, the idea is that we'll all sit down and write a lot of this content. And looks like Rebecca answered that. Thank you, Rebecca. Peter, do you have a status update on the threat stack case study on moving from GitHub? No, I don't think I have. I think I was talking with their marketing team a couple months ago, but I can look into that again. Um, we have a lot of case studies in the pipeline. Um, Erica, who just joined us, is starting to work on this, those so we can move them through quicker. Um, but I will follow up and I'll take a look at that one specifically. Sid, what is the current idea about a better process for sourcing and building internal knowledge bank? Um, the marketing hack day is a start. Um, beyond that, we're gonna have to figure out how to, where to store this information. And the idea is to, you know, have a place to go where, um, we have documented some of this information that we can use in our content. Um, but definitely the first step is the marketing hack day and, and all where, of that content. Where, where are we documenting it, Erica? All of that content will live in the marketing hack day project for now. I think, so what, what is the goal? Do you want to find out who, who knows something about what in the company? So that's probably part of the process and more of a future goal. The idea of the hack day is really to get content created. Um, so a lot of GitLabbers have said that they want to see more technical content. And I think that, you know, our developer audience would agree. So the marketing hack day is to start to, to uh, sorry, to develop that content. And I think through that, we'll start to discover, you know, who's the subject matter expert on what, um, and then figure out a way, and maybe that's in the, you know, marketing hack day project, probably not probably in the marketing project, um, to, to list the people under the, the subject that they're the expert in, is I think how we would handle that. The well, we, we already have three initiatives that might overlap a bit. So we got uh, a blog, a, report, an, a set of issues for possible blog articles. We got, um, we list um, expertises on the team page. Uh, and the third one escapes me. So I, I, 
I think it would be nice to think about piggybacking on those initiatives. So have the hack day, but maybe not create another repo that lists who, who knows what, because I, I think it's our challenge is making sure that we, uh, we have a few things that everyone can use. Yep, that makes sense. And I think the third one you're thinking of is we have a speakers list. Um, so we have a list of speakers. Yeah, for events. yeah. thanks. Yeah, that, that, that is it. Find a speaker page. Um, but yeah, that's a good point and something that, like I said, we're, we're still kind of finalizing the details of the hack day and the, the specific process. So um, thanks for bringing that up so we can look into that and see where there is overlap and we can work together on those. Um, you had some other here. Eight, the, let's see, the CNCF linked from, oh, yeah, so I, I am working on getting the case studies that are put in the new template to show up on the customer's page. Um, right now, I'm just adding them in rows, um, and I have an open a, um, merge request for that, but I think there's also an open issue that I can find um, to get those to automatically appear on that page as we publish them. That would be great. Um, shall we offer a hoodie for Global 2000 customer stories? Um, yes. <laughs> um, we can talk so to I'm, I'm, I'm asking that because InfluxDB just said at the bottom of that page, Dave, share your story and get a hoodie. Like it just makes it really easy to, uh, to get some inbound there instead of um, yeah, pulling on people um, internally and, and doing it to a few layers. You have to people come to you. I'm not sure if it works, but it's for sure worth a hoodie if we get a customer story from a Global 2000 company. Yeah, I agree. Um, Emily Kyle says that we can do that um, and we'll have new ones in stock next week. So um, it's a great idea. Um, Brendan, love the idea of a hack day. Yes. Um, definitely want customer success involved a lot in that. There's a lot of great content we know that you guys can create. Um, and so before the day, we'd also like to try to think of what that content is and get those issues started so we can start thinking about it. Um, John May, great job, Erica. Thank you, John. Um, Peter says thanks. Rebecca, answering to the marketing hack day. All right, it doesn't look like there's any more questions. Um, so thanks everybody for tuning in and I hope that this was uh, helpful. Thanks, Alsha. <laughs> Was really good. Thanks, Terry Khan. Thanks. Thank you.